Hey hey, Surfed here to give you tips on how to level up in Minecraft Dungeons the lazy way. Minecraft Dungeons is a fun game, but like any other action RPG, you gotta grind those experience in order to level up. So what if I told you there's a way to level up with minimal efforts? I found this out on the first day Minecraft Dungeon was released and about three to four hours into the game. There's just one requirement. You need to unlock the redstone mine mission. Unlocking this shouldn't take too long since it's not that far away from the beginning but if you speed run through it, it should be pretty quick. So what makes redstone mine special? When you unlock this mission, it introduces mob spawners. Yep. There are mob spawners. If you play, if you played the regular Minecraft, then you know what I'm talking about. It's basically what the name does: spawns mobs. And it looks like a basically a black cage, plain black cage. And we will need this to level up, and definitely as long as you can. <laughs> Once you find one, take out any range mobs like skeletons. You don't want any range mobs giving us damage and the only mobs that should be spawned are any melee mobs like zombies. Find a corner nearby and face the mob spawners. Hold the melee attack on your controller and swing away. That's it. You won't get damage as long as zombies get knocked back and eventually they'll die before it gets to you and zombies will continue to respawn as long as the mob spawner doesn't get destroyed so watch out for that I know what you're thinking is there a way so that I don't have to hold the melee button and automate this the answer is yes so let's kick it up a notch on the laziness what we need for this is to configure your controller buttons and piece of rubber band So we would have to go to the Minecraft Dungeon settings and go to the controller settings. Configure the melee attack to either the left or right trigger button of your controller. Next, wrap the rubber band around either the left or right side of where you normally hold the controller like this. Make sure it doesn't come off. Double wrap it if it's too loose. Then grab the rubber band behind from the from behind of the controller and place it either on the left or right trigger button. Whichever button that you configured as a melee attack. So this allows you to attack indefinitely. So you don't have to you know, keep holding the button. And there you go. Now you can Go do something else, you know, go eat, brush your teeth, play with your cat, play some Minecraft. <laughs> some things to keep note of, if you are using a wireless controller, make sure to turn off the idle time. Because when your controller is not being used, in this case idling, your console's default settings will automatically turn off the controller at a certain amount of time. So make sure to disable that. A wired controller would resolve this issue. As for keyboard mouse, configure the following. Go to setting, then key binding. Click on alternative under melee attack and press the up arrow on your keyboard when it displays press any key. Next, click on alternative under root player and press the down arrow on your keyboard when it displays press any key. So when you press both up and down arrow key, you are attacking in place. Now to do it the lazy way, use a small object heavy enough to press both the up and down arrow key to maintain your attack position. Something like an unopened soda can works fine.
I hope you guys liked the video and thank you for watching.